Okay, we're working on a, some kind of frame here. Four speed FX, FL, 70s, late 70s frame. I think it's like a 78 or 9. Fred's over there looking I'll for hardware. Hardware to pull the studs out. Show them the damn studs. Oh, you gotta pull the studs out. Why don't you just get the stud puller? I'll just do this. Okay. Double nut it and pull Double it. Double nut it, pull it. So this frame was sent up and being straightened, so the neck's probably straight, but it's got a twist in the motor mount. You know, the motor mount bounces around here, the cases. That's so after you. That's we got about a 20, we got about a 20 thou gap on this side back here versus here. And when you put the transmission plate on here, it does the same thing. Fred, give me that plate down there. Somebody's got a stupid tripod in the way here. So this is an old panned plate I had laying around. He didn't have one. So you lay that in there and you can hear how it's rocking and rolling under there. Yep, turn the line on my help. So that's not flat. And I already scraped all the powder coat off these mounts and then filed them so they were flat. And you can see how the really rough machining Harley had back in the late 70s. They were really rough. Now this one had a big bow right up here. This side was bent up about 30 thou right in here, so I filed that a lot to get that where it's flat all the way across now. So, so even though these are now flat, this frame's got a twist in it because it was hit. And like I said, even though they straightened the frame and got the neck where it points forward and all that, they didn't do anything about the mounts being all warped to hell. So we're going to have to shim the tranny plate. Warp we're we're going to have to shim the motor the to get everything squared up. Warp speed! And it's also loose in front of this way and twist it. Warp so. speed! So, what are you doing there? I'm going to run this freaking thing in here. I'm gonna double. Why are you tearing up the thread? There's no point. In... We're taking it out. Yeah, but you're screwing up the nuts. So take a little bit of oil, put oil on it so it doesn't gall up on the way in. What, that nut? You're worried about saving that nut? we got to get the nut all the way on there before it's screwed up the threads and you might not ever get that thing out. So they powder coated everything on this frame. That's enough. Just put the oil in there. Not to get too fancy with it. So yeah. So so be wary of your. I can do this for you. So they got this all screwed up over here on the swing arm be pivot. Where they the threads are kind of missing for whatever reason. So that look. That's a that's a good view there. They freaking over blasted the damn thread. Did they over blast the thread, Fred? They freaking blasted the crap out of them. Fred says they used the wrong size grip when they powder coated this. Did you show them the, the numbers you the really fine numbers? The ones you can't read up here that I tried to scrape off. Yeah. yeah that these you can't read on so we've had this issue before where they've over overdone it. Here, tell me Don't how to look do that at me, man. Freaking get that shit off me. Okay, there you go. I like my haircut? No. I said I want a, I wanted like a light haircut and lightly left any no hair. Anyhow, so yeah, we got the cups here we gotta get out of here too, which are so, all powder coated in. So if you ever do this Put something here. You're supposed to tape over this area so you have numbers. Put something visible. over that so you can actually see your numbers. Yeah. I mean, one of them, they, what, the DMV said they were going to not... Is that going easier now with the oil on it, Fred? Damn. I wonder why that does that. I don't know. Why does that happen? I don't know. You've got some more, though. The good news is they left the studs in, so we'll actually have some decent threads on uh, it. We're hoping there's some threads in there after he pulls out. I wouldn't vouch on any of that stuff. So we're going to clean all these threads off. Now we're, going to, we're not taking the powder coat off these edges, even though it wouldn't hurt if you did, especially like shock mounts and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll leave them. But we did scrape the motor mounts off. The motor and training mounts you got to scrape clean. Hmm. What are you doing to that? You breaking it? Anything ain't coming out? Because Fred doesn't know what he's doing? I, yeah, probably. Look at that. Am I supposed to put a washer between it? No, you're supposed to tighten it up. Where's yeah. your other wrench? Well, the first problem was why do you put the box wrench on the inside? Oh, I should have had it. There it goes. Did you do it right this time? Yeah, well, so much is still tight. Well, you know, you could put a little lubricant on it. Good. <clears throat> Mm, that's not the one I would have used, but okay. <laughs> he said lubricant. I don't think that stud's moving for it. I think the nuts are coming off. They are coming off. Damn. All right, we're going to do something different here. Break the stud, stud remover Get the out. inner wrench out of there. Where's your other box wrench at, Fred? In, in the toolbox. Well, I have to go get that.
Yeah, work together here. Okay, we use a stupid tripod I hate. Fred's lost over there getting the tools. I can't figure this out. Did Fred get the tools? You see my big fat gut? You're a fat gut. <laughs> Too many tacos. Too much freaking everything. Too much everything. Not enough to exercise. Looks like you're exercising now. There it goes. Did you get it this time? Oh, it's all blinkfold? Yeah, it's unscrewing this time. Unfreaking screwing. Still can't beat old Andrew and his Indian where he, <laughs> he had everything zip tied and welded on turds and everything. Nuts are like yeah. bolts that are about a, only about three threads in. And, yeah. Hey, got my first one out. Fred's got one out. Man, that looks good. Let me blow that up so you can see it better. That looks real good. <laughs> can't see it when it's that close. A good looking thread there. You gotta get the camera to work. There it is. Now the camera's come into view. You know, I could take this air off now that we're not It looks it. like there's some corrosion going on with that thread. Yeah. Really? Did you figure that out by yourself? Well, maybe a little sitting out. There's no sand, it's just corrosion. Yeah. Well, the last one I put the, I, I was cleaning these threads up. I pushed it all the way through. I had to clean it before I pulled it out because I just put sand Fred, back in. I can't in. see when you got the camera up close like that. Okay. I said, when I did this one here, Okay. I ran the... I ran the tap all the way through, but when we got out here, I had to blow all the dirt off because it was made Did no you get a face full of dirt there? Yeah. Good. Boogers going everywhere. Yeah, I'll leave it full. Back in a minute. Come on, I got to go take these nuts apart. Yeah. A new $20 base. That one's still going. I'll have to take them off the plate for a So that can do it this way, too. I'll be back in a minute, just hang on there. Looking at a looking at that stud. Okay. And the next one. Come on. Come on here. I'll be there in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can't go anywhere because whatever they had father know it was the first you know I can. Anyhow. Alright, get something to eat tomorrow. Be wary of powder coating. Uh, it can make your life. I did mine and I didn't know what I was doing or they didn't know what they were doing and they ended up, he ended up getting the torch out and blowing freaking big old nasty burn marks on there. You got burn marks? Yeah, from the last time you did it. Okay, he called me, he says he wanted me to fix this piece of crap twin can head here. What? Really? Are yeah. we really going to do that? He wants me to. I don't really want to And this, this hole here? Not that one. No, the other side. You want to fix that hole too? You can't see what you're looking at with the camera turned wrong. See, yeah, I want to really this holes are okay. Gas. Someone was helping me out over here by breaking it off, helical, and breaking it again. So we got to fix this. And they really helped me out by uh, buffing it with the buffing pads, and they got a big low spot in here. A big they, low or low big spot? There's probably a 5,000 drop right in here where it went across this bolt hole, and it's not very flat anymore. It's on this one right here. So there's a big low spot right where my finger is right now. And you can really feel it when you run your finger across it. So that would be a prone place to blow a head gasket. So we got surface to head too. So they're making it more and more work. I told them to get a different head, but it's already been ported. And Didn't we say that before? Somebody polished it for Broke some it reason. I don't part. know why. And they also cut the guide boss way out in here, so it will, you know, the guide will fall out a lot easier now too. So yeah, great piece of crap. Yeah, that one came out too. That one's about the same. Oh, that one's nice, the other one. So I Actually, retap these holes so we go all the way through. Did you tap them yet? Really? Yeah. I just got the damn ugly bolt. Why do you got the fine course one? We got a course tap here. Well, you course tap away. Here we go. Are, are you in my way, Fred? I gotta save the hardware. Fred's in it's my only, way. It's only been sitting yeah, this in the is a course board. tap, not a fine tap. Save the See, he brought all the taps over to confuse everybody. Where's this fine one go, Fred? I don't know. You want to save the studs and give them back to the dude, or what? Yeah, they go back in this junk pile over here. He's got a whole bunch of junk pile over here. Okay. He's gonna have half the bike back because half the bike he's got is wrong. Need to throw away his custom powder coated did, bolt. Did you throw away the stud? Oh, you can't do that. Well, there we go. Where's your shit pile? Pick a box. There's a whole bunch of laying around here. Shit box. Sorry. Sorry, hurt. Hurt your ears. All right, there's that one, Fred. All right, there you get, get you the do that one. You can work. The oh, top. really? You got it started for me. You didn't think I could start it myself? I already did that one. What are you gonna do now? Do the other one? 
I'm going to do the other one in a second. Yeah, well. Yes. Till I go home. Ha! Till I go home. <laughs> checkpoint of where? Which checkpoint? Oh, you're only an hour or so away. I'll be here. Yeah, it's only 8 o'clock. I'll be here probably till 10. I won't be here till 10. Oh, uh, what, Kenny? Ken, whatever. No, uh, he's getting a talk. He got hungry. Yep. He'll probably, he'll probably be gone before you get back. Yeah, that head I just had on the video looks like crap. Yeah, is that yours? <laughs> Great job. <laughs> nice piece of junk. I can fix all kinds of junk, but that thing's pretty bad. Dude, that's... Take your advice. Get a new head. Fred says new head. New Fred head. is listening to me. Fred says new head, too. Looks like the guy with the $11 up. Yeah, I'll fix whatever you want. I, I'm not working on it tonight, so you can come by and tell me what to do. I'm going to work on it for a month. Okay, see you in a while. Bye. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Was that? Was that a fart? You missed a kiss. Did you give him a kiss? Hey, not so That's an arse armpit in the back of you, Fred. Oh. Okay. Get all that sand out of the way. Did we get the sand out of there, Fred? <sighs> you know, you, it doesn't take long before you're, you get your hand this gritty, 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 gritty stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to do this other side over here once. Okay, you know how to do that side? Well, I'm going to show them. You're going to show it? You're going to scrape it too or just do it? No, look, I'm doing this. I'm showing them where I was working before. This all got all kind of wacky. Okay. Are going to show them how bad these cylinders are on here? In a second here. Look how loose that one is. Sorry about that camera, folks. Look how loose this one is. Have we got that? This is too loose of a bore inside your case. Are you sure about that? So you got front and back, side to side. That's pretty loose. So we got a wobbly frame and a... This one here is well, loose this, is this way, but it's tight this way. Probably because of the stud that's taking the gap up. Yeah, that's the stud hanging in there. That's why it's like that. And watch out because they didn't cut, they didn't burr the inside. They got these sharp edges in there to get you. Mm. Which one? This is the rear one? Front one. Yeah. Which one's front? So the other one I went down. This one I have to go up because this thing's in the way. Oh, okay. This Did little... you show them that? Yeah, I just showed them that. Look. Can you see it, folks? Oh, I can't see anything. Can you see it? I don't even know which piston goes in which hole either. I'm doing this right here. I'm going to go up because it can't go down because that's in the way. You're going to mark your front and rear. Front and rear? Is I supposed to pay attention to which one's which? I don't think so. They actually got two different sizes here. They can measure two tenths <laughs> difference. That means one of these is different from the other. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not much of a difference. Oh, wait a second, that one's good to go in so it's a little smoother. That one's tighter fitting? Yeah, that's tighter fitting. I'm going to switch them so around. Going by Fred's fitment method. Yeah. This one. Switch them around. That one looks better. Well, that's maybe because this one's got a seal to it. And that one doesn't. Is that what it is? Good. Yeah, they're about the same. Right? So pay attention, man. Pay attention to what you're doing. Count. Oh, do we have to count? Ready? One, two. Oh, they both hit about the same time. This is Fred's way of fitting cylinders. No? I don't see much difference there, Fred. No, probably not. None of that's on the camera because you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. See. Here we go. Hang on. Let's see what Tatro's doing. They're doing the piston drop fitment test. Let's see if they're equal. There's two tenths of a thousand difference in the cylinders. So. Pretty equal. The other way around. That's correct. Oh, hold on, hang on a second. Oh, you still like that. Pretty equal. Can't see the damn thing because of my big. I think I have to measure the difference because it feels pretty equal. No. I need a way to put these away so they don't rust. You don't rust? You don't rust? Rust. Rust out. I'm more concerned about filling up full of sand and dirt in your frame, man. Yeah. I was just thinking, are we going to pull a, this out too? So we want to pull this. It's just laying there, take it out. <sighs> I need to take this. One. I'm having so much fun. Fred's having fun. I only hit nine holes today, so I could come what? down. What? Nine holes? I only hit nine, so I could come here and hang out. You got withdrawal symptoms, though. Oh, I'm getting them. Bad. Well, it was the back nine, so that was all right. 
But what about the front nine? Well, the back nine is, I play the front nine all the time. Oh. So. I'm a new golf buddy too. Fred, give me that box over. Well, hang on, you can't see this with my arm. Whoop. All right, here we are. Fred, give me that box. Here, I'll reach over and do it. I got it. Don't worry, I got it, Fred. I'll you got that? So I'll do this so you can see. Oh, I'm packing this. Why are you so blown up? Huh? I don't know. Am I blown up? You're blown up, Fred. Oh, shit. I keep messing Look this up. Look at that. Man. All right, here we go. One, two, three. What, what are we doing? Taking this out. Where are you so going with it? Oh, so, I'm hooked on something, Fred. So it doesn't get as much, any more dirt in it than it already probably has. It's already got dirt. We're going to have to get a polish anyway. It's junk. Huh? Whoever polished that didn't do a very good job. <laughs> That's true. So, so whoever sandblasted it didn't do a good job. Whoever polished it didn't do a good job. No, they're going back out for polishing. That's See, look at those. Look how rough these are. Rough? Rough. Rough, rough. Roof. Here, what are those cases at, bro? Let me you show want the you. Case? Oh, I almost cut myself getting picking it up. I'm gonna so, get it by the camera over there. What? By the camera? You may put it back here. Uh, turn it sideways so you can see. Okay. See the polishing job on these? See, they got big burrs on here. They didn't. They didn't sand them smooth. Turn it back. Um, see, they're not a very good polish. Now look at the heads. Whoa. See the heads are cut all the way down in between every fin. Look how bright and shiny these are versus these dull ass that? cases over here. Now supposedly that? the same guy did both of these things. And I already told him he's full of crap, but I'm not going for it. That the same guy did both of them? Yeah. Maybe he was uh he was Fred influenced. He had a buzz when he was doing these and not when he was doing those. I think one Mexican was up and down and one Mexican was down in San Diego, what I think. Well, you, uh, that's that's what I think happened because these things are crap. Look at the big sharp edges they left. Yeah, look at those edges they left in there. We got to cut all those oranges out in there. Yeah, I got to cut those out. Can I get back to my thread? Okay, you chasing, chasing, thread. Chasing, thread. Chasing, thread. Chasing, thread. chasing, chasing. I can almost see what you're doing there. Well, I've, I already started showing them it, so I'm just there finishing what I was starting. I'm starting to like this. I'm putting these pistons away because you're just pistons away because I'm making a mess. I don't have dirt and dust going everywhere. You got them all mixed up. It's all your fault. The other, the other thing you got to do is you got to make sure all that sand that got in the frame gets out of the frame. Oh, my knuckle cylinder show up too. Yeah. So we, we had a guy show up. <laughs> it ain't funny, but it's funny. A guy shows up. He powder coated everything. His tank, his frame, his gas tanks, and a bunch of other stuff he had powder coated. And he came in here and he goes, man, this thing's burning oil. I don't know what's going on. He reached in the pipe and it all come out all black. And then we're, we started taking it. He said, well, let's, have, let's investigate. <laughs> we investigated. The cylinders were totally scored beyond recognition. When we finally got down to the oil pump, it was just full of sand. Where did the sand come from? came from his oil tank. A nice powder coated oil tank. Had lots of sand inside of it that got blasted through his engine. You're not supposed to do that? Well, you want to clean it more than a couple of times and make sure you don't get that one little piece of sand stuck in the corner and blow through your engine. So, not mm -hmm. this isn't part of the engine, but just another heads up. You powder coat stuff. I had my front crash bars powder coated. I still got sand coming out of there. Yeah. I should have drilled it out and. So we gotta fix the thread or just leave it. Yeah. I think once you run it all the way through, cut the shoulder back and run it through, it'll be okay. I'm not sure. We could come, could do it. So I got this stuck up here, and if you look really close, which I'm not going to, but if you could see this, can you see that? No. Can you see the big old nasty, gnarly booger of sand there? Can we see it? Yeah, you can see it. You got you got sand in there. Yeah. Sand up on top. Can I get really close like oh, that? Oh, get out. That's me. Go away. Oh. Get the sand out. Or it will cause you to fall off. Yeah, that poor guy. Yeah, what are you doing? Put it right in my damn gut. Fucking wrecking. Stuck him. Yeah, he almost didn't fit in his leathers the other day. They were, they were tight. <laughs> he was 
He like, er, er, er. squeaked it and he walked it was so damn tight. <laughs> of course, you couldn't hear it for all the wind, but that would be all mirage. Is that, that thread too loose, Fred? That's pretty sloppy thread. It's been getting better as you go in. Isn't We're it? in the threads. Is, wow. that, is that too much input in the threads? I think this is metric, man. <laughs> I'm thinking those threads are as bad as this is. <coughs> Oversize and put a. It does go in there pretty quick. Yeah, until you get to there and it bottoms out. It's coming through the back side. Yeah, but we got too much of a gap here. So I need to cut the axle. I'll assume I'm pivot back about a hundred thou. It appears that they made it too long. They manufactured it too long? No yes. one would do a thing like yes. that, would they? Yes, they did. Why would they do a thing like that? Oh, nice, ready. Because they felt like it. Take this over the lathe. I'm gonna cut this shoulder back about 100 thou. <clears throat> right now or later? Oh, right now. How much will that stick through when we're in that deep? It actually started sticking through about. You could see like one or two threads. It'll stick through about three threads. When you're done, yeah. About three or four threads. That would look way long, wouldn't it? I wonder if it's gonna interfere with anything. Mm, Probably not. No, there's nothing here. Probably not. All right, go cut that. I'll keep cutting some new threads. Where are we at? Yeah, let's see about this one here. Woohoo! Got the right size. Don't get too excited over Woohoo! Living a dream, man. Living a dream. Cutting threads in San Diego. How can you not love this kind of stuff? Fixing things that people have hosed up. Hey, I got me a fancy dancy the. I got a fancy dancy tap holder that actually is uh it yeah, I don't know. We're okay to spin, but I got one that makes it make like a ratchet. It has a ratchet thing to it so you can ratchet it in and out. Which is really cool in tight spots. This is not a tight spot, but if it was, it'd be nice to have that. I was skinny till some asshole ran into me doing 50 miles an hour when I was stopped in a flat, wide open road in broad daylight. Boy, I didn't see him. I wonder why he didn't see me. I'll be fucking texting. Dumbass. I can ruin my golf game. I haven't been able to come here because I've been messed up. I don't drive, text and drive. If you do, pull over. <laughs> It really sucks when you hurt somebody else, being not paying attention. I'm paying attention. Took out my mini, got a mini Clubman with turbo in it. Talking to myself. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Oops! Somebody accidentally cut it back about an eighth of an inch. Multitasking here. Let's see how much mud came out of that. Yeah, Thirty thousand of spare. Oh, look at that. Looks pretty clean. That's, uh, that's the other reason why you don't want to. Oh, he said don't put it so close, but it's probably. Look at that, Fred. It goes in there now. A couple ounces of dirt come out of there. Only a couple ounces. Well, I ain't put it down the hole yet. See, I got a fingernail clearance behind there. I mean, screws it up. Well, your fingernail is right. Damn, make a sand trap out of this. Sand trap? Yeah, all the crap coming out of it. Ah! More sandblasting. Let me get my clean rag dirty for it. Mm. That's what came out. You had a bunch of dirty rags there for you to use. Well, if you handed me one, I'd use it. You didn't ask. Throwing stuff at the camera. <laughs> Heads up. Look <Heads> out. <laughs> Damn. Didn't think about that. Okay, so we got bearings over here and spacers, because Fred didn't show you what we're doing. Bearings and spacers. Tempting. Where's the, the seals? Swing arm spirit. What? What do you mean seals? Where the seals? We don't need no stinking seals. No stinking seals? No stinking seals. Seals stinking? Got to. You up in there yet? Got it. You sure? No. 
I'm gonna hit this and break this over here too. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for you to move it in. Well, shit happens. I don't know if I hold it up there where it's supposed you to move be. the case back to a half inch. There, you got my side in. Why don't you need to get your side in? Well, my side. Hang on, hang on. Freaking. Just can you hang on a second? Okay, I'm holding on. What do you want? I'm gonna push the damn um, spacer in. I need a screwdriver to push the spacer. I don't have a screwdriver. I got a finger. No, you can't do it. It's got a. <sighs> You got something sharp? Well, you can do that. Hang on. Uh, no, hang on, hang on. I got it now. Look, I use this. You got the right tool there, Fred? There it is. Go. I need the right tool. Hey, well, it's close. Hang on. No, I need the right tool. There we go. Hang on. This will go now. Alright. Oh, it. shit. There it goes. Got it. Got the right tool. Are they, are they watching what you're doing? No. They all went home. I like my hair cut. No. Sure all these bowls here. I want a light cut and they left a light amount of hair on. <laughs> That's a lot of cut. He said, do you want to take anything off the top? I said, yeah, everything. I didn't any point. Well, I didn't have anything up there anyhow. Oh, that stopped. Why did it stop? Right there? Because it didn't oh, want to go. Put a bracer. Wait. Oh, something's wrong. You're going to take the shoulder off of this too? Mm, I don't know. You haven't come through yet. Nope. You know why? Because you've got something else going on. Here. Your spacer's not where it belongs. Hmm? Oh, right. Mm, good catch. Maybe if you put a bevel on that thing and push the spacer where it belongs? Yeah, there's a little bit of a bevel, but I don't know. What kind of freaking cutter dude are you? You don't cut the damn bevel in there so the shit goes in? It's because the bevel is not supposed to hit on anything. Alright. I'm going to get back to what I was doing. Where's it at? Somewhere there it goes. Yeah, try it again. I can't see it, so I don't know. You'll know in a second if it keeps going in. Ooh. Oh, stop. Can you see where it is? Yeah. Yeah, on your side. I can't yeah. see. I can't see. All right now. Are you sure you didn't cut that thing? Yes, I'm good. Put it in there. There you go. Right now. Nope. Let me hit that bitch. Got it where you want it yet? Nope. Go. Nope, nope. Nope. Oh, hang on. Let me go tighter. Nope. No, 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 no tighter. Let me loosen up again so you get in there and move it. Could cut a bevel into the. Did you get it yet? Spacer. I didn't. What are you doing? You done playing over there? I'm trying to. I just need to go up. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Ah. Let's take it out. Something's something's fishy. Yeah, Fred's fishy. Hang on, hang on. Ooh. Why is it spinning? It's stuck. No, it's not stuck. Put it back in. I don't know what the problem is. I'm gonna fix it. We're gonna fix this. We're going to bevel something. We're going to bevel it. We're going to bevel something. That's too sharp of an edge for you. i got to cut it. Yeah. Really? Did I just say that? Gonna bevel it. Fred it? said i got to bevel it, so I'm going to bevel it. Take the nasty, sharp edge away. All right, I'm back to here. You guys can keep watching because we're getting ready to do this right here. No, we can't. What the hell? This thing's in the way now. All right. I'll find another thread to clear. I think it's from now. Well, that's not going to work. Shit. I need, one, I need one of these, but it needs to be a bottom one, not a pointy one. I'm going to go get one. He's back. Oh, he's back. I'm back. We now have a bevel. It's pretty quick. Otherwise known as a chamfer. Chamfer, bevel, bevel, chamfer. Bevel, chamfer. Any yet? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I'm 
we can put the old. Uh, there we stopped again. Well, it's, it's. I think you have something else going on. It's Fred. Must be my fault. It's the spacers in the wrong spot. You didn't center it. Why don't you center it, Fred? Where's that damn screwdriver? I don't know, you took it. You're looking at it, why don't you just put it in the center? Is it moving? Yeah. Got it where you want it yet? Right there. Try it. <laughs> yeah, bevel works. A camper. Why are you calling it bevel? It's a camper. Camper? Camper. Camper. I don't know. I'm, okay. I'm sober and still not sober. Here, hold that. So I got three pounds of drag yet? Three pounds of drag? I got three pounds of drag dragging me down. Did you get tighter yet? It's gotten tighter. Ooh, that's tight. Let me see it. Hold it. One more. It'll almost stay up by itself. Nope. That's perfect. That's almost, perfect. almost holding itself up. Goes about that high. Uh, if you got that high, you're in trouble. About that high. This is how the <laughs> FXR guys do it. This is how the lowriders do it. Yeah. Okay, looks good. Which would be the same guys. Where's your shocks? You got shocks? Oh, well, you need. Oh, hang on a second. You need stud, stud. You need. There's so much. No, you got too much shit. You need. We're missing a lot of crap. Yeah. Testament didn't bring anything. And you wonder if they're going to go through. You wonder if they're going to actually fit. You think in this maybe hole. there's powder coat issues inside the holes here? I, I not wonder. I know. There you go. Shock holes. Shock holes. It's supposed to be holes. It's supposed to have non. Non powder coat in them holes. They're full of powder coat. You don't think they're going to fit together there? I'm thinking that might right. require a little bit more work. You mean? Not more work. Okay. Would you get these two done? Yes. Did you get these done? No. Get that one. No, you've this been messing one? around. I know I've been messing around back here. Look at that. You've been messing around. It goes right there with that wheel. Huh? But all those, look at all this dirt you put on this frame over here. I'm going to wipe that down. I'm messing around. Did you get the uh, up here on the top? Up I haven't got anything yet. I got, I got this one. Got dash screws up here. I pulled the studs out. I got this one. I got to do that one. And I got these two. Okay, you got all we kinds of excuses. We just started a couple minutes ago. You got all kinds of excuses. We, got, we just started like. Did you blow this hole out yet? I haven't cut it yet. Did you put a tap in there yet? I haven't put a tap in there yet because you didn't put this in the way to get to that. Did I put the tap in the way? No, you put this in the way. That's that fine thread tap too. Where's the fine thread one? You should have been using What's a black that? tap, did you? Yeah, I used a black tap. It's right there. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Fred used the correct tap. We need a bottoming tap, though, of that same size for these. Fred, this doesn't fit. Really? Did I just say that a few minutes ago? I need some oil on that. You could do it with the um, crescent wrench. Crescent wrench? I don't think this is around here. Uh, freaking fly by night. Fly by the Peter Peter Bart pants. Cedar Bart pants. Ooh. Right there, a socket. It's called socket. it's called eight point. That means a square drive. You go there or there. See it's square. Turn ninety. Goes back in. Now he's getting fancy. Look at that, Fred. That fits. It's kind of crooked going in though. Well, that's because I have the oil on it. If you had oil on it, it wouldn't be crooked. Next thing you're gonna want a little extension to go in there so it's more straight. Straight more. See, I do this. I work all day. I come out here and take this kind of abuse. I, I don't understand why I do this. Why should I take this kind of abuse? You didn't read the comments about you. You were picking on me. I was picking on you while my yep. wife said I was picking on I'm just on getting me. even. My wife said I was picking on you. She's like, why are you picking on him? I don't know. Well, my socket, Fred. You know how to use this? Do you do it? I can. So I got to do the camera work. You weren't even filming what you were working on there. Look at that. You set the camera up. Look at that. This is educational TV here. Yeah, well. Think how bad public TV is if this they think this is interesting. Are you straight? Because it sure don't look straight. It don't look straight, does it? No, it doesn't. Why don't you put it in there straight, Fred? Instead of jamming it sideways and square, you need to go straight. Well, if, if this thing was out of the way, I could Blame get it on the swing arm. You notice how once it came out, it popped, it went back straight? I'm thinking the threads are bad. No kidding, really? I think we mentioned that once before. It looks straight that way. It gets straight this way. Oh, listen to that. Can you hear it, folks? It's cutting metal. 
We might have to heat a coal this one. I don't think you're gonna put the big one on there. Don't break it off, bro. Don't break it. Oh, it's going. Ah, oh, that's gonna be good. That's a little bit more than chasing the thread. It's making a thread? I think it's making a thread. It's, getting, it's being done. committed. Man, it's got a, <laughs> got a long thread to it. It's being committed right now. Did you put any oil in there yet? Yes, I did. It feels kind of dry, Fred. Well, it, yeah, because you went fucking 40 inches down. You got oil in there yet? Well, can you stop? It's still cutting, Fred. There. Okay, can I go tighter and break it? No, okay. please. Fred won't let me go any tighter than that. This one would be fun as long as that, <clears throat> as far as that's in there, that'd be long, that'd be hard one to get out of. Oh, powder coat. Ooh, scratch the color. You see the big old gnarly scratch that was on up here by the neck? You mean on the number side where I was trying to get the numbers off? No, this side. Oh, I haven't looked at that side. This side was like, I'm like, oh, better not scratch the paint while I'm trying to cut away the. Okay, you need to exercise, Fred, so hurry up. Oh, I, need I didn't need exercise. I'm not fat like you. Thank you. I'm not golfing with my buddy and then complaining about the paint I'm in. He goes, you know, if you lost 30 freaking pounds, you wouldn't be in this. You wouldn't feel so bad. I'm like, really? Thank you for that freaking Mr. Obvious advice. Fucking Captain Obvious. And he's actually a captain. A doctor captain. A doctor captain. captain doctor. See, he's a doctor. You're picking on the doctor. No, the doctor's picking on See, me. Oh, picks... that's nice. Look at that. That didn't that hardly cut anything. Oh, look at all these. Check yeah. out those threads, though. Those are ugly looking down there. Look at that. If you go in there deep enough, they look good. Where's your other uh, tap driver? You bring the small one? No, I bring the small one here. Yeah, that's only going to work on a couple. Well, I didn't get the right tap driver. Did I not get the nozzle? No, nozzle's over there, Fred. Thank you. Fred's going to make a mess now. You ready? Oh, you're going to let me get in my eyes and not yours? That's a lot of thread coming on. That's a lot How of those threads look, Fred? Steel came out of there. Well, if we put a bolt that freaking long in there, it's gonna get <laughs> hit some threads. That'd be good. Well, that's what you're known for, anyhow. How, how deep did you go in here, so? Oh, the same depth. I went all the way down. Went all the way down to the clip. Wow. Where's your tap? Not far enough down. Where's your thread? Where's your bolt? Let's go grab a new bolt out of the drawer over there. Where's the air nozzle? Plastic goes in the cylinder, it's missing. Found it. Let's yeah, get in that box there. What'd you find? Is that a bolt? How's it look? Does it go all the way in? What? Are you done yet? We have some fun around here. Oh, sounding good. Ooh, I should put some air on that thing. Oh, that sounds so good. Well, I'm going in. This thing. I'm about to go. I need to go all the way in because I'm going to put some oil on it. Is it in? Oh, well, that's a bolt. It should go right in. You just tapped it. Yeah, I did. Did it go all the way down? Uh. <laughs> did I miss it? <laughs> Are we going to put a bolt this freaking long in this hole? Maybe. Really? No. Do you think I would do that? No. Yes. You always do. Well, how much torque are you going to put on it? Potato torque. It's just too much. Is that far enough down? What? I want the full length of the bolt. Okay, that's good. Why get these wrench? You should be able to hand. Just speeding the process up, saving my wrist for butter for other stuff. <laughs> for other entertainment. Ooh, sounds good. 
Well, let's see if his hole goes all the way to the bottom. The hole don't feel too good. That's a long. Why are you doing back asswards? I'm using my left hand backwards on the wrong side of the bike. Fred's getting around the bolt. Which is why I crashed the, crash the last time. <clears throat> I didn't crash. I did. Hand yeah. tightening. Hey, these are. Uh, <laughs> you think those studs are a little bigger than they should be? No. Perfectly fine. It's almost all the way down. And it's still. Still loose. Still wobbling. Well, I might have to heal the claw. Oh, oh, that finally got tight. Okay, they're good. Then. Where you cut the new thread. The new thread's good? Okay, so you gotta go down a half inch before it gets tight. Three quarters. Three quarters of an inch in. Now I've got some good threads. So we gotta put a long bolt in that hole. Alright. Isn't this frame ready? Isn't this frame ready to be put together? And That's what the other shop said when they brought it over here. I believe them too. I never believe anybody. They're always a naysayer. Nice. 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 You mean it didn't bolt together? So typically people only put about that much in. So they go deeper. Would have been wobbly. Let me check my legs. It does look like crap. Now see this is fun. Wobbly. We got one good one. That's all you need, one good one. Wobbly. Nope. Okay, what'd you miss? Well, where's your 516 set? There's some more over here? Here's one right here. There's a 516 chorus top. Yeah, see, this one didn't have to go down as far to get. You know, I'm supposed to be working on something else. Yeah, you're supposed to be working on a transmission. Why aren't you working on a transmission? Yeah, actually, I'm supposed to work on a sports drill so I can get them done so I can, then I can work on the train. Why aren't you working on a sports drill? You know, I could do this. I know you could. I didn't ask you to help me do this. You know, we're having problems, I could just tell. Because I can do this. This, oh, yeah. I mean, the swing arm I couldn't do because you needed to cut it down. Okay, I had to do the swing arm. Okay, at least I had away? to do, at least Turn I had the to camera do off. Everyone knows. At least I had to do something. I did my part. Everyone knows what we're doing. It ain't that freaking hard. Just got to make sure that when you do powder coating, stand by because you'll be doing a lot of this crap. Okay, you're lined up, Fred, and I can do your part. I really want to. See, I, I already want... got the tap started right up there on the top. Like see, that ta see that tap up there? I already had it started and really everything. Got it started. Ow. Cut. Cut. Cut, cut, okay. cut. You're cutting it. Okay, I'm going to go work. Really? Is that working on, I don't know. See, you know, he makes the camera, he puts the camera on so I can't listen to my rock and roll. Perfect. I like that part. Freaking, every time I turn my, my Pandora on and listen to some rock and roll, all of a sudden, we got to film this. Turn it. Well, freaking music off. We got to clean parts. Yeah, well, have fun with that. So once again, we got a big old. Ow! Almost hit my foot. Yeah, I almost hit my foot with this. This thing has those safety sandals on. We got safety sandals on. Wonderful. Yeah, let's clean some parts. Can't see them cleaning parts. You can hear me cleaning them, but you can't see them. Can't see them cleaning parts. I really think this is, this can't be entertaining for these guys to be watching me. I don't know, it's only good an hour. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm... How could this be entertaining? Comic relief. Okay, how's that? That's better. Comic relief. We don't know what she's coming by though, so it's over to you. See, these are clean now. Now you have to blow them off. Blow me. Blow me. Blow me. Blow me. Blow me. Take the whole damn shop up. Get all the dirt. Take the whole damn thing out. Take it outside. Clean the dang vents off. Go to the beach, pick up a bunch of sand with oil on your hands, and that's what we're working with. What a pain in the ass. Mm. 
We got beef here. Let's see people go. Look at all the beef. What else you got? I do this one here too. Over here. See that? These uh, these ones here, which are more good. Mm -hmm. So you put pegs on the roof of your own Switch on. Make sure you get the right cut. Before it's perfect time. I that no, I didn't do these yet. Oh. You better hurry up and get it done. Yeah. The inspector's coming by to check you out here in a few minutes. Who's that? Somebody come by or while we're working. It always works out that way. Yeah, so if you really want to know what sciatic pain feels like, the ones that know it know it. The ones that don't know it, go out to your barbecue grill, take one of those like uh, skewers, stick it on your barbecue grill for a while, then lay it down the side of your leg. And take a baseball bat and shove it in your what? What were you talking about? Baseball bat. Shove it in your back end and then you'll get a good feeling for what it feels like. Because that's what it feels like. Sometimes it don't nothing to it and then other times you can't even move. It freaking sucks. Some freaking asshole to say. Alright. Well those are in pretty good shape. You'll be able to hold the footboards on now. Shouldn't be too bad because we just pulled those. What did I just do with that? Okay, let me go back over here. Let me just do set the thing down. Okay. Can't see out of the other. Deaf in one ear. Can't see out of the other. Can't hear out of the other. Yeah, that's a winner. Still 
good to cut through because there's probably a big old booger of powder coating on the back side and it didn't come out. Still looking? Can you see that? It might be a little better. Still kept collecting 49 parts for the 49 pan head that only needed a rear fender for those of you who watched that episode. Pan head project goes sideways. After we pulled the bung out on the front head is to destroy all the threads on that one. That's actually pretty good. It's no good. No, 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 What's that? I want my golf spring. Um, you're up your rear end, you know, wouldn't you? That's a nice bit of threading there. Oh, well. I found my valve keepers. I don't need it anyway. Put that tool away. All right, so I got these up here. I got, you got those there. Did you get this one here by the what? Oh, it's not there. Nope. You should put one back. That's pan head part, not a pan head. I got the one up here. I got the one here. I got the one over here. I did this one here that's all screwed up to mine. Yeah. You did the good yeah, you one. You see, you screwed it up. I didn't do this, I just made the bolt fit. You did those two? I did these two, these Twice. three, these ones here. Did those three up there? Yep. What about the little wiring hole on the side? This one here? No, on the other side. <laughs> do we really need to do that? It's like a metal, it's like a... We don't know if we're using that or not. We're going to cut that bitch off. Man. Just Fred, you are filming what? Because you were working way over there. I was working there. right here, look. I was working right here. No, not me. Not when I... You were working frame. up here. No, I, I just moved it to look down oh, Okay, he moved. Okay, so oh. you got all that. You got the important video, bitch. And I think that's it. I think we're done now. You're done? We're not done. We're hell. We're it's done. It runs. Go ahead and ride it. We're not even started. It's just Fred would ride it the way. The threads, Fred but. would ride it the way it is. Did you score the cups? I started scoring them. We can beat them out and see what happens. You got to score them a little bit. Did you I score them? I scored them a little bit. Did you show them? Can I show you what I did? What did you do? I did it wrong, but Fred I did it wrong. I got this tool here. I just got my camera in the wrong spot. I did this here, and I just went along here. Yeah? That's a nice tool. You want to use a knife? Well, that's easier how you do it. So I do it anyway. Well, that's a point two, the same as you're doing. Put more of a score in it, though. Why don't we get a hacksaw blade? I'm on metal to metal scoring. Why don't we get a broken hacksaw blade and do it? Then we'll just cut it right out. Why don't you quit screwing up my pick? I'd much rather screw up my pocket knife because we already know it's a pile of crap. This, this pick has been like filed down a thousand times. That's yeah, because you guys keep breaking it. Look at that. You got a crazy glue here. This thing's still just as sharp as it was. It's so dull. Did you do this one yet? No, I didn't do that. Are we going to take the cups out now? Why don't you get back to what you're supposed to be doing, which is clean those, those heads and start working on them. Uh, I was supposed to put the training together. But I thought you were supposed to put the training together. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Hey, you know it's 9 o'clock. I think I'm going to have to go here. So. We were supposed to be working on that uh, 45 stroker motor, but we're supposed to be working on it. Are we? That's going to have to be next week now. Yeah. I'm way behind on that job. I need to get those done this month. <laughs> Wait a second. You're way behind on what job? Oh, every job. <laughs> I went racing. I wasn't behind on the racing. We were early. No, racing. We Oh, man, we kicked ass in racing. Yeah. I, I, didn't, like, we, I like didn't need them. no stinking sleep. That was, a, that was a miracle, man. We made it up there. But you went home at 9 o'clock one morning after working all night? That's what I called you. That's how I went home. Yeah. yeah we hey, that was like a miracle. Fred didn't get this one. You see here. the video. It's like, yeah, we got here. We got everything done. And then the damn thing, the wind picked up. Turned the crop right after Fred woke up. Uh, 
I didn't take a nap. I was tired too. Fred, my knife seems to be dull. I think we should have just got a hacksaw blade. Okay, where's your tool at? Why do you keep asking me where my tool's at? I know where my tool's at. I didn't use much, but it's, I know where it's at. Is that your tool? Yeah. Got the hammer? You got the hammer? How about that? Can we get the big freaking hammer? If I know something, you don't move that oil, it's going to get in the best. You want the steel hammer? No, I want the one out of my drawer. Which one? One out of my drawer. This drawer? No. Toolbox. Oh. That way, when I whack the top of my hand, it's going to hurt. This one here. This is BFH. Yeah, that's the one. Big freaking hammer. You know, if we lowered it down, if we lowered it down, you might be able to get to it better. How heavy is this one, Fred? Oh, they missed it. Marking spiders. Oh, <laughs> Are you low enough, Fred? There you go. Oh, did it move? Yes. Did it, it move? Did, did it, it score? Did it break? Fred, it moved. Fred, look at the film. You're not what are you filming. doing? You're what are you doing? Oh, we didn't lower it down where we're supposed to. There it goes. There it goes. Can't see, now you can't see me hitting. You're too close, Fred. Ah! Ow! Hit your thumb. That sucks. Why are you hitting your knuckle, man? That's not good. I didn't hit the knuckle. Hit your finger. There it goes. watching you with the camera instead of what I'm doing. There it goes. Ow! See, that's why I used a big hammer, so when you nail that shit out of your hand right there, it hurts. Why is it all red right there now? I don't know. That would be because you hit, you want to get on this side because it's easier to hit up from this side. It's easier to hit this Ooh, way. More handful of sand. You got more sand. More handful of sand. Is yeah. that why you got the bearings right here? The nice new bearings. What are you doing there? Fred, why does that finger hurt? Because <laughs> you hit it with a BFH. And if you guys get me to describe what a BFH is, you're in. It's all black and blue looking now. Stop. I think some of that came off the powder coat. Okay. Yeah. How about this one? We got to do this one too? Oh, yeah, it's coming right out. Yeah, that's easy. Put your hand on top of it. Oh, my finger's starting to hurt. I bet it was. Hey, we got for sale powder coated, black powder coated races. Oh, okay. They're barely used. Right? They're barely used. I can feel the blood pumping through my finger right now. It's weird. got a special color to it now, see? Oh, look at that. Feel that dirt. It's not as, not as pretty as yours. You got red coming off yours. Oh, yeah, that was my grinding yesterday when I shouldn't have been. Yeah. So when you wipe off the dirt, it looks better when, when you wipe the dirt off. You're grinding something down and your finger gets in the way of the grinder. It, it definitely see, doesn't. You wipe the dirt off, now you can see the black on the bottom. And this is the other grinding. Yeah, it's all right. At least I didn't break a knuckle this time, I only got a finger. You gotta be, so I've been buying all these Jeep parts, right? And I got a really good deal on a Jeep part till I went to put it together and there was a big giant gap between the actual bumper and the... Oh. <laughs> it appears that this is halfway uh, good. Which fortunately I had picked it during one of my other picks. This guy said, hey, there's a bumper there. You want that? And I took it and I cut the tabs off and used those. So. Look at that. It didn't, even, it didn't even screw up the powder coat or anything. Mm -hmm. Where's that cup at? Well, what about this? It's already screwed up here. I, didn't do, I, haven't, I haven't looked at that side. So look, it was a clean break on the powder coat right where I... Scored it. Right in there where I scored it. Fred, Fred scored it first, but then I... I I've used oh, my pocket I'm knife. Get bored. Let's move on. I used my pocket Did knife. I, for go the freaking work thing. On that I was working yeah. very hard. I, I, I found my keepers. Okay. Well, I'm calling it. Nine o'clock. You're done. I'm out of here. Okay. Who's gonna film me working see on the heads? Nine o'clock. That's not nine o'clock in the morning, folks. That's nine o'clock at night. There you go. Fred's happy. Like my haircut.